practical session of grade 10 chemistry. Today we will conduct an experiment on lead nitrate and potassium iodide solutions. So aim of this experiment is to observe what happens when lead nitrate is added to potassium iodide solution and also identify the type of reaction and then write a chemical equation for the reaction. So the chemicals taken are lead nitrate and potassium iodide. So we need to make an aqueous solution of both lead nitrate and potassium iodide. Now the first beaker contains lead nitrate and the second one is potassium iodide. Both are white crystalline solids and then we have to make an aqueous solution of both. So I am going to add water in both substances and then stir well so that we will get an aqueous solution of the both. Now stir well by using a glass rod. I have added a little amount of water so that it will be taking little time to settle down. I mean dissolving. Keep on stirring so that the substance will get dissolved. Okay. Now we have prepared the aqueous solution of lead nitrate and the potassium iodide. Now the solutions are ready, we can conduct the experiment. So I am going to take one of the solution in a test tube. And then I am going to add the other one into the test tube. Now add the second solution. So I have taken lead nitrate in the test tube and then I am going to add potassium iodide into it. So carefully observe what will happen when you mix both the solutions. See, you can see a bright yellow precipitate is formed when you mixed lead nitrate into potassium iodide. So what is this yellow precipitate? Yellow precipitate is the lead iodide. When you mix lead nitrate into potassium iodide, lead will be combining with iodine from potassium iodide and lead iodide will be formed. So that is the yellow precipitate formed in this reaction. Okay, So you have taken lead nitrate and potassium iodide so that you will get lead iodide. Lead iodide is formed as a yellow precipitate. It is insoluble in water that is why it is formed as a precipitate. What about the second product? Second product is potassium nitrate. Okay, Potassium nitrate is soluble in water so that it will be formed as an aqueous solution. So that you cannot see as a precipitate. So why the white colorless solution is potassium nitrate and the yellow colored precipitate is lead iodide. I kept the solution for some time so that the yellow colored precipitate is started settling down. So after some time you can see a clear solution of potassium nitrate on the test tube and a bright yellow color precipitate is settled down. See this is after 10 minutes time. I just uh, taken out the test tube okay, so that I can see very clearly that the yellow precipitate is settled down and you can see the colorless solution on the upper layer. This is potassium nitrate solution. It is soluble in water that is why it is formed as a echo solution. So these are the two products obtained when you conduct the experiment between or the reaction between lead nitrate and potassium iodide. So the reactants are lead nitrate and potassium iodide. The products are lead iodide and potassium nitrate. What is your observation when you mix lead nitrate with potassium iodide? We can observe that a yellow precipitate is formed 
due to the formation of lead ionate. Also, a colorless aqueous solution is formed on the top of the yellow precipitate, that is potassium nitrate. So, this is an example of double displacement reaction as well as precipitation reaction. Now, we need to write a chemical equation for the same. So, lead nitrate formula is PbNO3 twice and the potassium iodide we will be writing as Ki. Okay. So, PbNO3 twice reacts with a Ki. So, the product will be PbI2 lead iodide along with the potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is KNO3. 